When watching, let's say, financial TV programs, you might have heard one analyst mention he's bullish and another that he's bearish. The same way, experts frequently say that a certain asset is either in a bull market or a bear market. Simply put, an asset is in a bull market when prices are going up and there's a climate of optimism surrounding it. On the other hand, if prices are going down and it seems most people are pessimistic, we say an asset is in a bear market. Three important questions arise. 1. When are we in a bull or bear market? Well, it's not set in stone, but according to the Dow theory, we say we're in a bull market if prices have gone up at least 20%, and if prices went down 20% or more, we say we're in a bear market. 2. How long do they last? Once again, there are different theories, but broadly speaking, you can call bull or bear markets which last longer than 5 years secular, and shorter ones cyclical. 3. Why are these two words used? It's hard to be 100% certain, but A. According to Merriam-Webster, bear was used first as of the 18th century by those who sold bear skins and said, don't sell the bear's skin before you've killed it. B. Others say the terms appeared even sooner, back in the 17th century, at the London Stock Exchange Bulletin Board, with offers to buy stocks being called bulls and the board being bear when there was a bear market. <laughs> Pun intended. C. Perhaps they're based on how the two animals attack, with bulls thrusting their horns upward and bears slashing their claws downward. That's pretty much it.